I, uh, I'm, I, it's not my drinking I'm trying to cut down, it's the hangovers. Right? I don't mind a drink, I just don't want to be hungover anymore because I've been sick and tired of being hungover. Because in this country, we sort of not only see a hangover as a necessity, we actually see it as a badge of honour, don't we? So if you phone a friend tomorrow and you go, you're right, how are you doing? And they go, oh, God, I'm a bit hungover today, actually. Right? What you should say there is a caring friend. You should say, oh, that's a shame, isn't it? That you've deliberately pumped so much of a toxin into your own body <laughs> that now you can't drink water without being sick. <laughs> You won't say that, though, will you? You'll say what every one of us will say there in that situation. You'll say, fucking legends! <laughs> Amazing. What happened last night, then? And I say, well, I just stayed in, but I couldn't stop drinking because of my despair at what's happening to the world. <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you know what a hangover is? Your stomach saying to the rest of your body, just piss off, please. <laughs> Nothing comes down here until I deal with what you did to me last night. <laughs> You don't even like Malibu. <laughs> Half a litre of that shit down here at three in the morning. <laughs> oh, arsehole. At which point your arsehole will say, don't bring me into this. <laughs> I'm still dealing with the kebab they had on the way home. <laughs> Chili sauce, I'll show you. <laughs> I just don't want to be hungover anymore, right? But I enjoy a drink. And I'll be honest with you, I drink exactly as much as I used to. All I do to avoid hangovers is I have water every now and again. When I go out, I have a little bit of water, right? And obviously, as a man, I have to do that in secret, right? Because <laughs> you can't stand up on a lad's night out and say, hey, boys, I'm going to go and get some water. Does anyone want anything from the bar? Because <laughs> generally, they say, yeah, when you get to the bar, John, could you keep on going and piss off home? <laughs> Come on, to have a good time, haven't we? Think about that during the week and try again next weekend, all right? <laughs> You don't respect uh, men who look after... And, and, and I'll be honest, I don't think women... I don't think you're any different. In terms of your alcohol consumption and its effect on your own health, I think you're quite happy to drink yourself into the point where you're puking into the gutter. But women, I just think you care for each other. Just that instant response is more likely to be kind. That if you see a group of girls out, it's more likely there someone say, she's in a state, isn't she? Jesus, should we get her a water? Otherwise, she's going to be really sick tomorrow. Right. With men, it's more likely there, oh, John's in a state, isn't he? <laughs> I reckon we could kill him. <laughs> Worth a shot, isn't it? Shall we have a go? <laughs> Steve, get him a pint of uh, whiskey, tell him it's apple juice, see what happens. <laughs> Half a pint, actually, he's nearly dead. Waste of money. In fact, his stag do's are the worst. If you try not to drink to the point where you're sick, stag do's, I go on a few now because obviously I'm at that age where a lot of my friends are getting married and they invite me to stag do's. And don't get me wrong, I'm delighted to be invited on the stag do. And I wouldn't be your first port of call, would I? We're having a crazy weekend. Let's get Richardson down here. <laughs> People obviously want to go and get shit faced on their stag do's. And that's what happened. The last one I went on, we met at uh, St Pancras Station at nine o'clock in the morning for a nice crate of warm lagers off the floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All dressed as superheroes as well, because it's nice to look like a bell end, isn't it? <laughs> All in sort of cheap 20 quid Argos superhero costumes. All except for one of us who pretended he hadn't got that email and turned up in shirt and jeans. <laughs> that was me, make no bones about it. I didn't want to look like a dickhead in this country. I thought, fair enough, when we get to Germany, I don't mind being a dickhead, no one knows who I am in Germany. Sometimes people recognise me here and I'd rather they didn't get to work and say, yeah, I saw that uh, little one off nine out of 10 cats on the uh, train, yeah. I think he's had a mental breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> he was dressed as Batman, crying. <laughs> I just thought I'll dress normally in this country, right? So we get there, we're all drinking our lagers and Spider-Man spills his, it goes all down here, looks like he's pissed his pants. And I'll be honest, at this point, it looked less like a stag do and more like a Fathers for Justice reunion. <laughs> so we enjoy our lagers, and then we get on the train to the airport, and we have some more lagers on the train to the airport, right? And then we get to the airport, and we have some more lagers at the airport, right? And we're all getting a little bit pissed now. So when we get on the plane, I sneak to the back, and I have my first tactical water. I told them I was going for a piss, right? I did have a piss. I've got quite a weak bladder. I used to wet the bed a lot. <laughs> Didn't really need to tell you that, but it's nice to share, isn't it? If you're suffering, when you go to the toilet, you just stop a few times and it builds up the muscle two years dry. <laughs> Thank you very much, really applauded. Well done, well done. Anyway, go to the back, I have a little water while no one's looking, right? I get back on the stag do, right? We land, we drink our way down the strip and then we check into our hotel, right? And I sneak up to my room when I'm there, I have a bit of water as well, right? And then we meet up again. We get two bars in and that's when I realise that the drinking now has become a problem, right? We're not just drunk. I've probably spent about 500 quid coming on this stag do to show my friend that I'm glad he's met someone and he's found happiness and he doesn't know I'm here anymore. 
In fact, nobody knows I'm here anymore. I realised at this point, I could piss off now and nobody would notice. And do you know how I know that? Because I pissed off and nobody noticed. <laughs> Just went, I heard the phrase, we better wipe that sick off him or we won't get in the titty bar. And... <laughs> that's very much a parachute phrase, that, for me. Not just on stag do's, if I hear it in the library or in Asda. So I think things are about to go badly here. I'll make a sharp exit. So uh, I told him I was going to the toilet. I went back to the hotel. I went via a garage where I bought a big bag of crisps that you can't buy in this country, which is the only reason I travel, really, in search of new crisps. <laughs> and, uh, I just stayed in the hotel all night. I watched the first session of the World Snooker Final, and I had one of the best evenings of my entire life. Thank you very much. <laughs> really was incredible. Uh, I like crisps, I like being in hotels, and I really like snooker. Snooker is the best. Snooker is basically tidying up disguised as sport. <laughs> Unbelievable what they've managed to pull off there. You get a big messy table, and whoever tidies up the most wins. That is <laughs> evolution in action, that is. They even call it clearing up. Oh, he's cleared up lovely there. He fucking has as well. What a treat. I tell you, if you've never been to see it live as well, after the game's finished, someone comes out with a little hoover and hoovers the... Pow. Get right in them corners, right down the end, get all the dust. Oh, yeah, just touch me with those white gloves on. <laughs> Imagine that, it'd be like being done by an angel, wouldn't it? Old Jan Verhaas, his big hands. But so, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Completely forgot you were here then. Just getting tugged off by a snooker referee in my mind there. <laughs> Odd how happy I was as well. Really nervous as well, because while I'm watching the snooker, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to be in trouble here, because when I go down in the morning, they'll all say, he's the one that left, make him drink piss, and they'll all piss in a glass, and I'll have to drink it. I, I went down in the morning, they went, hey, fucking amazing last night, wasn't it? And I went, yeah. Didn't even know I'd gone. Didn't even realise. <laughs> I won't lie either, Ding Jun Wei come from 4-0 back to going 4 all at the end of the first session. <laughs> Absolutely electric in a way no stag do could ever be as far as I'm concerned. 